These are off-the-cuff thoughts and are not to be taken as complete arguments. Thank you. Recently, a situation with a cricket in our basement led me to think about how we need to have a larger perspective when we're stuck in life. The other day, as I was doing my laundry, I heard the very audible chirp of a cricket. I listened closely and realized that the cricket was in our basement and not outside. I looked around, but didn't see it. When I came back later, I heard the cricket again. It seemed like it was chirping for help. But when I turned on the lights to see where it was, it stopped chirping. I told my mother and she came down to look. She eventually found it sitting close to the basement door that leads outside. We rushed to get a plastic container so that we could capture it and release it back outside. However, the cricket turned out to be very fast, jumping only at the last second before the lip of the plastic jar touched the ground. It leapt into the crack between the door and the wall. We opened the door and there it was, right behind the doorstep that separated our basement from the outside. At this point, from a towering, human perspective, I could see that all the cricket had to do to obtain freedom from our basement was to jump over the little wall of our doorstep, something it was surely capable of. I exclaimed to the cricket, all you have to do is jump up, but it wouldn't. When I tried to capture it again, it kept jumping from side to side and not up. Thinking back on this, I wondered if there was an analogy here for our own lives. Many times, when we have a worldly and narrow perspective, we try to get out of it through any means without stopping to think what we're doing. We flail and jump around like a cricket, not knowing where the escape route is for our current challenge or painful situation. But perhaps, if we had just sat still for a bit and allowed God to work, we would have been rescued quicker. If we zoomed out and thought about things through an eternal perspective, then maybe we could have seen our way of escape better. Sometimes, our own anxieties and fears cloud us from seeing the path that God provides for us to endure our present troubles. So next time, before rushing to solve our problems immediately with solely our own ways, let us meditate and ask God for His grace to work in our lives. And let us truly believe that He is always faithful to provide a means of escape when we face temptation, and that He gives us a way out so that we can persevere through the challenges that we face in life.